I'm Saud and by the end of this video you'll achieve connectivity between Java and an MS Access database. So go to Access, give a name for the database. You won't get these pop-ups if you're using genuine stuff. I'll give it as Enlighten. Click on Create. We'll add another field out here. Let's say Name. And we'll save this. Give a name for the table. I'll give it as User. Click on OK. And close this. This file must be in the Documents folder. That was the path. Here it is. I'll take it somewhere else. Next, go to Control Panel. Click on Administrative Tools. Double click on Data Sources ODBC. Then click on Add. Select the driver with the extension ACCDB. That is this one. Click on Finish. Click on Select. Select the path of the file, so C, Enlighten and this is the file. Click on OK. Give a name for the data source, I'll give it as ADB and click on OK. So this is the name of the data source. Click on OK. We need to remember two things, the name of the table, we gave it as user and the data source name, that was ADB. Next we shall see the program, I have already written it, it's available on this link. Noisystems.com slash resources slash south dot text. You can get it from here. I'll just uh, copy paste this for now. I'll take it in Notepad. I've created a frame, and there are about four buttons one for insert, one for update one for delete and for exit and when each of these buttons is pressed a query is executed so the insert button will execute the insert query and ID and name will be entered as an entry in the database if you've named your data source name something else then just change this ADB to that and if you've named your table something else then change this user this entire file to something else the update button will update an existing entry in the database the delete button will delete an entry from the database. The last button, that is the exit button, will simply close the program. We'll execute this program. I'll save it somewhere. Click on save. I'll save it in the same place where the database is. It's not necessary, but this is just for convenience. I'll open command prompt. I'll change the directory. Next we'll set the path. We'll uh, search for the JDK. It's mostly in C, program files, Java. And I'll copy paste this. We will write Java C to make sure that the path of the JDK has been set. Next we shall execute the program. Write Java C space file name dot Java. There are no errors. Write Java space class name. And this is our program. We will fill some uh, entries. Each time we press the insert button, the insert query is executed. We will check the database. There you go. Let us update this query. We will change the name of ID23 to something else. Let's say South and we will click on update. 
so the update query uh, was executed we'll check the database again and there you go next let us delete this entry from the database right id 23 and we'll click on delete the delete query must have been executed we'll check the database again and the first uh, row was deleted if we reopen this file you won't see this there you go I hope you benefited from this video you can get the program at this link you can, you can modify it as per your needs thank you for listening